so hi we are going to talk about proxy sql today but before talking about proxy sql we have to talk about how queries are made from an application server let's suppose you have an application server a which needs to query a database one of the way is you get a request or you need uh, to query a particular database to start connecting to your database as soon as you need the query and once you get it get its response you break this connection but connection takes time connection establishment takes time and it is a costly operation so because of that what we do is in our application so instead of creating a connection every time we need to create a database what we do is we create a connection pool in which we are we keep connections open to database this is called connection pool whenever your app needs to uh, connect to the database and query the database what it does is it selects a connection from the database pool connection pool and let's say it selects this uh, connection it will just send its query on this connection and once it receives its connection this connection is released back in this connection pool this way we are saving on establishment cost connection establishment cost so these connections that we have established in our connection pool they have particular life let's say its life is 5 minutes after every 5 minutes this connection will drop and in its place connection pool will establish another connection and after another 5 minutes this connection will drop and in its place connection pool will create yet another connection so that the number of connections in a particular pool remain constant let's suppose it's 3 in our case due to this what happens is that whenever we have an application that is maintaining in a connection pool so during initialization app, application initialization application will initialize connections to the database in the connection pool now what if we have different databases let's suppose we have another database or this is a read traffic so we want to load balance this read traffic what we can do is instead of making all the connections to particular database it will just create a connection to this database so we have two connections from this database and one connection from this database so the queries won't be evenly routed or evenly balanced among these servers this will have 2x load and this will have 1x load and let's suppose in the scenario of this connection being timed out let's say it was 5 minute timed out and this connection was timed out <coughs> excuse me. it is not particularly necessary that the new connection that will be established will be established to this server it all depends on what IP 
uh, did we get while we were resolving for the DB server? So let's suppose it resolves to this server. So now we will get 0x traffic on this server and 3x traffic on this server. So load is not evenly balanced. We needed something which can help us evenly balance the load. Here comes the proxy SQL. Now what happened is that proxy SQL understands my SQL protocol. This is your app, this is your connection pool. Instead of directly connecting to the my SQL server, our application will make connections to the proxy SQL. Now in turn, proxy SQL will connect with the database servers. Now in this way, what we do is, we added another layer in our application and it provided much better load balancing. Of queries. If we don't want this single point of failure, what we can do is we can have our application connect to this is our application, this is our connection pool. We can have multiple instances of proxy SQL and we can have connection pool which can load balance among these proxy SQL servers and it will be proxy SQL's responsibility to evenly load balance among our three servers. So this is one of the use case in which we have to make single point of failure from proxy SQL. Similar logic about load balancing, uneven load balancing among proxy SQL is also possible. But since proxy SQL is not doing the heavy lifting, all the heavy lifting is being done by the database servers. So even if all the queries are being redirected, to single proxy SQL for some time, it will evenly load balance our queries on our destination DB server. So every database component will have similar load. So this is one of the use cases of using proxy SQL. Another use case of using proxy SQL layer is when we have an application server and it is talking to proxy SQL what we can do is let's suppose it is getting read and write queries and we have our database main database or master database and we have our slave database. What we can do is we can write a logic in which read goes to slave and write goes to master. So whenever the read query comes, it will be redirected to in, whenever a write query comes, it will be redirected to master server and whenever a read query comes, it will be redirected to slave server. This can also help in better resource utilization and it will save our master from unnecessary query and it will help in better optimization of our server resources. Now another use case of using proxy SQL is that let's suppose we have some application server 
let's write in blue we have some application server which is sending very bad bad sql queries bad or unoptimized sql so if these queries directly go to either master or either slave they are going to create problems on this servers these servers because bad queries can bring whole database down so we don't want that what we can do is we can write something in proxy sql to kill or stop bad queries so what happens is that all these queries won't be sent on the servers and our servers will remain working as it is and there will be no resource crunch or resource problem on our servers so another way is that it will stop all the bad skill queries that you have whitelisted or that you have blacklisted on the servers this another use case of using proxy sql this another use case of proxy sql is in query routing now i know it sounds a bit strange if you have not heard about it let's suppose you have an application server and you have a proxy sql server let's write ps for this and it is sending a query to the proxy sql and let's suppose you have multiple databases this is database one this is database two and this is database three and you want our application wants to send particular type of queries let's say this is master database this is slave database and this is slave database this is slave one and this is slave two and we are using it for analysis or analytics and this is for reads so by analytics i mean that this can handle analysis queries or queries long running queries but since it is a read database or application read database we don't want long running queries on this server and absolutely no long run queries on master so let's say we can write routing logic in proxy sql that whenever an application is sending it can pass it can uh, provide uh, some logic or proxy sql can write some lo routing logic so that we can find the queries which are having analytics component or which are for analytics purpose and we can selectively route them to analytics servers and other queries can be routed as it is as they were previously configured so one example of routing logic is that we can write we can send a query with comment analytics select star from we can write if we get we can write a lot routing logic in the form if we get a comment with analytics and select queries we want to route it route these queries to analytics slave in this way we are routing we are selectively routing some type of queries to a different database this type of selective routing can be used for database sharding as well
what database sharding means is that we can have a single proxy SQL and we can have multiple databases, multiple similar type of databases and our application will be sending queries to proxy SQL and proxy SQL depending on some of its logic is going to route these queries among these are write and read queries. among the different slaves that we have. So I think that's all for today. I hope you get a better, you have a, now a better understanding of what proxy SQL is and what it helps us achieve. Thank you and have a nice day.